That's right. I, it almost seems like it came by so much I know, I can't faster. believe we're already here with that. Here we yeah. are. It's, it's the big Oscars weekend. And of course, uh, Kevin's not here. He's in Los Angeles awaiting the big night on Sunday. <laughs> but he did leave us with some things to share with you. He went into the Fox 5 archives. Okay. He dug deep. And we're hearing from the Best Picture nominee, Tom Cruise himself. Ooh. Mr. Cruz, this is an honor. I have been waiting two years to ask you this question. When that trailer came out and you launched off that aircraft carrier and that one and you jolt on, it's so freaking awesome. Oh, I'm I always wanted that cat shot. I wanted that shot. I wanted that shot in the first Top Gun. And I was thinking about it, and part of my, my even the first Top Gun, I was like, you gotta, I've gotta fly in the F-14, you gotta film me in the F-14. And obviously the technology is significantly different, but that moment, I'm glad you said that, because that moment, that was the first. Oh. See, I didn't show the studio any of the aerial footage when we were shooting. We were shooting, and I finally was about, you know, five weeks into it. We assembled the footage, and I went and I presented it to uh, to the studio and to everyone involved. And that that shot was when we got that. I was like, oh man, these guys! It was extraordinary yeah. to have an audience be able to experience something like that. It's not what I am; it's who I am. What does that line mean to you as Tom Cruise, and what does it mean to you as Maverick? Well, Maverick, I think it's very clear. It's he is who he is, and he's just he's just a little push do you know what I mean like yeah. it's like you feel that character you know and it's something that I think we can all identify with you know when we have a passion and for me I feel doubly blessed to be here tonight after you know in the times and to be able to share this I've wanted to make movies since I was a kid four years old and when I started making movies I thought I'd like to do this the rest of my life it's a privilege and to be here tonight the film that people have been asking for for 36 years. Yeah, here's the thing. Tom Cruise is really the big winner in Hollywood. Uh, he brought people back into the movie theater right. during the pandemic, and, and maybe we'll see the Academy thanking it with a little wink yeah, one way or the other. Nice he is uh, nominated for Best yeah. Picture with Top Gun Maverick. So, of course, we're going to make our own Oscars predictions, but let's talk with the professional yeah. first, <laughs> Kevin, Kevin and what his predictions are. Uh, hey, Marina and Joe, it's Kevin McCarthy here. I'm in Los Angeles for the movie Murder Mystery 2. I just spoke with Jennifer Aniston and Adam Sandler. We're going to have those interviews coming up soon on DMV Zone and also Good Day DC. I'm going to give you a quick lightning round for the Oscars happening this Sunday. As you all know, the Oscars are my Super Bowl. I'm going to go through the major categories very quickly here and tell you what I think is going to win. In the supporting actress category right now, I'm still hoping that Angela Bassett wins this, but because the Oscars are happening so so late this year, and uh, this Sunday, March 12th, momentum does change. And she had a uh, Bassett had a lot of momentum uh, early on in the award season. But now Jamie Lee Curtis won the SAG Award, and you also have Carrie Condon for the Banshees of Inisherin, who won the BAFTA. I'm still picking Angela Bassett because she deserves to win for Black Panther: Wakanda Forever. But don't be surprised if you hear Jamie Lee Curtis's name called for Everything Everywhere All at Once. Speaking of Everything Everywhere All at Once, Ki Hoi Kwan. This is the biggest lock of the night in my opinion he's gonna win supporting actor for everything everywhere all at once and deservedly so um, in the actress category this comes down to two major uh, actresses uh, Kate Blanchett for tar as well as Michelle Yeoh uh, for everything everywhere all at once uh, Kate Blanchett has won two Oscars um, uh, in the previous years with the aviator and blue Jasmine Michelle Yeoh I think deserves this award and she won the sag and I do believe that she will win on Sunday night actor again this is a this is a coin toss. Brendan Fraser uh, for The Whale or Austin Butler for Elvis. It could be either one. Uh, you know, Butler won the Golden Globe. Butler also won uh, the BAFTA. Brendan Fraser won the Critics' Choice, and Brendan Fraser won the SAG. So I'm taking I'm taking Brendan Fraser, but it could be either one. Also, you could see a split. It could also go to Colin Farrell. And then, real quick, Best Picture and Best Director. That's going to be everything, everywhere, all at once for Best Picture, and also the directors, the Daniels. Don't be surprised though. You could see a Top Gun Maverick uh, a win slip in there, possibly. Well, you, you never know, but right now I think it's going to be everything, everywhere, all at once. I love you guys and miss y'all, and I'll see you in studio on Monday morning. 
Evan, he's going to need a lot of caffeine after the Oscars. Oh my gosh, he's going to be, be so here with exhausted. Us. Uh, you know, I think a lot of us were talking a little bit about Brendan Fraser, and I feel yeah. like he is such a shoe-in for oh, yeah. that Best Actor category. Um, and he's just done remarkable things with that, that movie, The Whale. So, fingers crossed for him, uh, from my perspective. Do you have a movie pick here at all? You know, honestly, I'm not going to lie, I really haven't seen that but many movies right now. That's so like, fair, because I think a lot of people have no idea what's out there. Yeah. It's like, what? Everything ever Everything all along. Yes. I've heard so much about that one, but I've also heard it's a, it's a little strange. Yeah, you so. gotta be in, in a, it, it's a, it took me like three tries to get really? through it, okay. so yeah. That's my pick, and I think it's because uh, Hollywood will go with something crazy, yeah. but I'm with Kevin. I think Tom Cruise is gonna sneak in a win somewhere. I'd like to see that. We'll see when he comes it. back on Monday. <laughs>